Hello. Wanda is a new tool from Mount Morgraph. This is the ultimate media search and asset collection extension for motion designers using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. You can surf endless libraries of GIFs, emojis, SVGs, and icon packs with a straightforward, stunningly simple UI. You can easily find millions of media files through a fast, compact, and responsive UI and customize the interface to your liking. It has more than 62 million media files and you can instantly download, sort and add media to your project without searching endlessly on the interwebs. I'm in no way associated with Mount Morgraph. I just like the product, so I thought I would share with you guys. So once you download Wanda and install it on your system, uh, the way that you get the extension to work in After Effects is you just go up to Window, down to Extensions, and then you click on Wanda, uh, and it should come in a panel like this. So then we'll just window this over here, and I'll just make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Um, and because it's an extension, you, uh, the developers can update it uh, automatically um, without you having to reinstall it. So if you just go here and then you go to updates and then you make sure auto update is clicked on like this. Also, if you are a Premiere Pro user, um, the extension is launched in kind of the same way as After Effects. So you just go to window extensions and then you click wander and then the panel will open up the same as after effects um, there's going to be a few features missing on the premiere pro panel uh, just because there's some features in after effects that are only native to after effects but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to uh, show you how the whole overview works in After Effects because I'm more familiar with After Effects and that's kind of the dominant program that I use on a daily basis. Okay, so Wanda, what's it all about? So let's get into how this thing actually works. So Wanda is pretty useful because it uh, gives you access to millions and millions of kind of uh, royalty free stock footage like GIFs, stickers, text, emojis, also like images, so images from Upsplash, Pixels, Wikipedia, Flickr, and then it also has kind of a variety of vector objects that you can bring into your composition, and these are all editable as well. And this is what I've previously searched for. Um, don't ask me why I searched for that. So let's have a look at the GIFs and see how this works. So let's say I'm gonna search for landscape. And we just hit enter, and then you get kind of every known GIF related to landscape. So it's really useful if you just wanna kind of have a place where you can find a lot of stock footage that you can just put into your timeline. So how do you put this into your timeline? Um, first of all, I'll go through like what these things do at the bottom. So you've got the little triangle thing on the top right, on the bottom right, sorry. And so let's just click on this. I don't know what, what the hell that is. Uh, and then this little triangle thing will give you um, kind of some information about the size and how many frames this is. So I'm not really into that one. So let's do this one. So this is 24 frames and is 1.1 1 .1 megabyte basically. Um, and then when you want to put this into your timeline, you've got two options down here. You can either pre-compose it or you can loop it. I'm going to loop this one. So let's loop it. And it usually just drops straight into your timeline. So let's just scale this up a bit so we can see what we're doing. And because I clicked on loop, it will just constantly loop until the end of time, which is really cool actually. Uh, so you can kind of speed up your workflow and add kind of stock footage. And it's a, it's a really useful extension if you're into that sort of stuff. The other things it has here as well is it's got stickers. Uh, so everything relating to landscape, uh, you'll, let me just take this off you'll um, have a sticker related to whatever you search for up here. Uh, so everything relating to landscape is 
kind of down here um so stickers have transparent backgrounds and you can just add them in the same way you can loop com uh, pre-compose so just double click that and just take this back to the beginning of the timeline scale it up and you can create some sort of crazy decorative border on your gif <laughs> um We'll just pull that out and it will just loop forever. So it's it's super easy, super simple to just throw things together. Um, and then you've got text, everything relating to landscape as well. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's put that in as well. We'll create a masterpiece here. Uh, and then you can have some sort of looping outdoor lighting. <laughs> Oregon outdoor lighting um, and this is loop as well so it'll just constantly spin like so now you can see how quickly you can build something up to look pretty cool and then if you click on emojis unfortunately you can't search for any emojis but um, you can just go through and find whatever you want so say for example I want to use this because it's uh, quite applicable to what we've created uh, and then you'll have some sort of sick looking emoji that you can just use on some graphic that you made in a tutorial that looks terrible also another useful thing is that you have high resolution you can search for high resolution resolution pictures uh in wonder too um and you get these images from places like upsplash pixels wikipedia and Flickr. Um, so let's say we're searching for, I don't know, the moon. And it'll give you every kind of high res image based on the moon, which is really, really useful. Actually, it just saves you a ton of time having to search and go to websites and download. Uh, the great thing about Wanda is that with the click of a button, it can be in your composition like this. It's literally that easy to get an image of the moon into your composition, which is fantastic, really. It's like a game changer for your productivity and workflow. Um, and then, say, for example, you wanted to put a star field in, stars. Let's see if we can find a image of stars. And then we just double click that. And the image drops in like that. And then just change the blending mode. Uh, maybe you put multiply, something like that. And then you can start to um, create some funky artwork uh, without actually even have to download anything, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, so whatever this is, but <laughs> um, you get my point. You can really kind of build up a scene quickly. Um, if you're kind of creating an animation or you just want to have some reference picture, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, and I've been using Wanda now for about a month and it's totally kind of changed my workflow and sped up a lot of kind of things that kind of are actually a bit of a ball ache searching online, trying to find images. Also, as well as adding images you can add textures so if we just go up to the search menu and add texture texture um, you get a, a handful of high resolution textures which you can add to your scene uh, just by double clicking which is really cool which can just add a uh, multiply to that and you've got some weird looking moon thing here but you get my point um so what you can do with uh wonder is pretty cool so now on to the boring legal stuff um i'm not a lawyer i don't know anything about royalty free or anything like that uh this is all stuff you have to search for yourself um but using wanderer wanderer but using Wanda um, on a YouTube video and using some GIF is going to be totally fine, I think. 
Um, I think where you could run into problems is if you're working on client work, or you're working for a big company like Nike or Sony, and you use some GIF that is copywritten, uh, then you could run into uh, some issues. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I'm not 100% sure how uh, royalty free these websites are. You're gonna have to check them for yourself, like Upsplash and Pixels and Wikipedia and Flickr. Uh, you're gonna have to do the research yourself, but uh, but I think the majority of the stuff on here is pretty much royalty free, and I don't think you're gonna run into many problems using it on your projects. Um, but you just have to double check. Also, on a side note, I uh, I now have a Gumroad store if you're interested. Um, so in the future, this is where I'll be posting all the project files for my up and coming tutorials um, for you to download anytime you want. Uh, mostly everything on here is free, um, but you know, if you want to, I don't know, maybe you want to, uh, you can put in like maybe 5,000 English pounds and then add to cart and then uh, yeah, you can support me that way if you're so inclined to do so. Um, but yeah, everything on here will be free, apart from this little guy, the walk cycle. Um, so yeah, check out my store and uh, download any project file you want. Thanks again, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, you can like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.